Immersed Robot. So, Zobo have posted in their development roadmap for Microsoft Flight Simulator that VR motion controller support will arrive in Sim Update 7, which is due to drop in mid-November. And we've seen a similar implementation to this in less complex titles such as VTOL and No Man's Sky, creating ways to manipulate virtual controls like a virtual HOTAS or hands-on throttle and stick, or in Microsoft Flight Simulator's case, a flight yoke too. But further to this, it also allows for physical manipulation of other the cockpit based controls and this definitely adds to the overall immersion of cockpit based games and simulations but it definitely comes at a cost in my opinion. Manipulating virtual HOTAS controls in No Man's Sky for example, while not terrible, it's nowhere near as accurate as controlling a true physical HOTAS in something like Elite Dangerous for example. Now of course the different flight models in No Man's Sky and Elite Dangerous play a part in this, but overall in my opinion, virtual HOTAS controls are far less accurate and more finicky to control than a real HOTAS setup. Now of course if you've got the option of both, a, a real physical HOTAS and motion controller support, I would always opt for the HOTAS, the real physical HOTAS setup. But there are downsides to a physical HOTAS too, one of which is that all controls really need to be set up and operated to play in either entirely by the HOTAS or by using some kind of keyboard in combination to get all of the controls that you require to play whichever title you're playing. Now there are other methods, for example, in something like um, Elite Dangerous, you can use voice attack, which is an additional method of convenience to control various aspects of the ship, so there are other options with that. But the other downside to a physical HOTAS is that there is also a lack of one-to-one -one manipulation to the in-game input. So the physical HOTAS, for example, might not be in the exact position as it is in certain titles. And also as you move it in certain ways, it doesn't map one-to-one -one with what is happening in the game. And this can create various forms of disconnect and can affect immersion within certain titles as well. And this is especially true if in-game, in-cockpit controls can only be altered through keyboard pushes or mouse controls and things like that, it creates further frustrations and further disconnects from the experience. The end result is that while I definitely prefer a physical HOTAS control in terms of accuracy and just overall how it feels to control certain titles with that, there are definitely issues with it which can be resolved with motion controllers, although neither method is perfect in my opinion. And in the future, I'd love to see something like a tracked HOTAS, which can be used in combination with actual hand tracking. And this could provide some kind of viable solution where you have sort of the physical HOTAS controls in front of you, but they are mapped one-to-one, -one, and then you can use your further hand tracking manipulation to alter things within the cockpit as required. And this will be a fantastic solution. Unfortunately, as far as I'm aware, there's no product that's ever been around that, that does that, and there's nothing even rumored to offer such a setup but that's still sort of something that I would hope for at some point in the future for cockpit based game enthusiasts. But in the meantime, just getting back to this original story, the fact that Azobo are offering this as an option can only be a good thing. And I know that there are various people out there that have zero problem with motion controllers, virtual HOTAS controls and things like that. So it's great for them. And I would also love an option where you can use motion controllers in combination with a physical HOTAS. It's not going to be perfect. I'm sure it will be quite finicky, but it will sort of give you some kind of intermediate compromise between that future tracked HOTAS controller and hand -tracked in which um, I, would, I would personally love. But let me know what you think about VR motion controllers for cockpit based games and what you think about this for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, which do you prefer for example? I'd love to know your opinions on that and see if it matches mine or if you are entirely for these virtual HOTAS controls. But that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Please consider supporting Immerse Robot on Patreon, or joining the Discord, or following me on Twitter, or better yet, all of the above. Links in the description below.